Yo guys, Sinister Skater here, and some of you guys were interested in seeing what some of my best creator classes that I have for Call of Duty Ghosts. So today I got about nine of my favorite classes that I like to use in Call of Duty Ghosts. So without further ado, let's get into it and get started. We'll start with my uh, Ruben class. These are the default names I have for it. I got six classes right here for you guys. So the first one is my honey badger class which i love to use it's one of my go-to classes and if you guys don't have a honey badger class don't use the honey badger i don't know what you're doing because this is probably like one of if not the best guns in the game so for the attachments wise what i like to use on my honey badger is red dot and the foregrip attachment because foregrip if you guys don't know in this game it's not like black ops 2 where it doesn't uh, it doesn't do as much like black ops 2 is like three percent reduce recoil this does a lot it's clearly visible on how much it reduces recoil and you already have the silencer built in on the gun so you basically are getting three attachments but this is my setup i love to use the um i have the c4 and the lethal and the perks i'm using are ready up ready up is a perk i pretty much use on every single class because it that you I, li I like to rush and sprint a lot so i'm always like it, it lets you shoot faster after you're sprinting so i always use that no matter what got sleight of hand for faster reloading takedown which when you shoot an enemy if you're playing a team game it doesn't reveal where the enemy was killed that doesn't put that little skull that goes over like your teammate that goes down so especially since it's a silenced weapon it makes it harder for the enemies to know where you are and to figure out where you're taking them down from amplify especially even if you don't have a headset amplify like if you, if you guys aren't using it, you need to use it because it makes like the footsteps so, so, so easy to hear. If the enemy's using Dead Silence and you're using Amplify, it pretty much just cancels out the effect of Dead Silence so you hear him as normally, which is pretty good as well. I mean, it's a great perk. And then I'm also using Focus. I did a video on how the effectiveness of Focus, so it's a pretty good perk to use on all your classes. Then Fully Loaded so I don't run out of ammo. The kill streaks really don't matter. I think they're all Assault streaks on this one, and I have Specialist on the other Soldier. But this is my go-to class. I like to use this in free for all, especially um, between this and my MTAR. These are both my silenced weapons that I, you know, use them in free for all, use them in whenever I'm doing bad or want to just beat some people up. These are my two go-to classes. Now the MTAR X, I'm using the red dot and silencer on it. The perks are pretty much almost the same. We got ready up, takedown like I used in the last time. We're using scavenger instead of fully loaded because with submachine guns i do like to rush a little bit more and do a little more spraying and praying so i will waste more ammo so scavenger basically gives me an unlimited ammo supply and with the honey badger i forgot to mention a lot of people do use it so you will run over guns you have like basically full maxed out ammo at the beginning with fully loaded so you will find more guns that are just on the ground you get more ammo so you don't have to worry about running out of ammo with that i'm also using focus and sit rep sit rep um i just love to use because ieds are freaking annoying in this game so annoying and this prevents me from just getting it and again i like to rush more with this class so i don't have to like run around the corner with just being blinded i can see through the walls and see all the orange satcoms and ieds and all that kind of stuff and ping instead of the honey badger i do like to use this more in the free for all maps because the free for all maps are a little bit more small so i do stick to the m tower which is a little bit more rushing and ping when you kill an enemy it does like a kind of like a uh i don't know it, it sends out a kind of like a motion sensor from older games on the map and reveals nearby enemies on the map so if you're I don't, it's, it's a cool perk to use try it out yourself it's pretty cool now this is my just go to normal play any game type of rushing class vector i've been it was like the first gun i used in the whole call of duty ghost and i've stuck with it um last video i showed you i got it gold and um it, it's just an awesome gun <laughs> to say um I, i'll be switching between red dot and acog i don't have acog unlocked on the soldier but I do like to switch between the red dot and ACOG and then use the muzzle brake as well. The perks for this, um, like again, go, go to rushing class. So I'm using ready up, um, sleight of hand, and marathon. On some classes, I will switch out either sit rep or amplify for marathon. Just because I do like, I don't like stopping in my sprinting. I like to sprint unlimitedly, so I, I love to use that, especially when I'm rushing. Again, sit rep, see equipment. I see you when I'm rushing. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage and it helps you regenerate your health faster so i like to use that and then again focus just a good perk to use this is my uh turned up class this is what i use for cranked i like to call cranked turned up because it's a you know why not um got the remington r5 using the foregrip and the red dot attachment now on this class if you don't want to use a foregrip you can either go for the muzzle brake or something like extended mags um i would recommend the muzzle brake i did use red dot and muzzle brake before but 
again, four grip does wonders for even guns that don't have much recoil that to, like, to begin with. So I just switched to a four grip with this because this gun does have a little bit more recoil and it does shoot fairly slower compared to other assault rifles. So need to get those shots on target. Rocking the C4 as usual. And then again, this is a specifically cranked class. So ready up is the standard on things. Quick draw helps me aim down the sights faster, especially when you're playing cranked and you're all jacked up. Um, it just helps you, you know, helps you kill people faster. It's pretty much like that. And then I'm, I'm using the combination of dead silence and amplify. This maxes out my kind of like sound horn because I do use my headset even though I'm on Xbox One. Amplify again, easier to hear the enemy footsteps and then dead silence. They can't hear me even if they're using amplify. It won't make me as loud. And then the focus perk because focus is awesome. And then these two bottom classes are just classes that I have to use. The MSBS. Um, I, I do like the fully auto on it. I'm not going to lie. So I have the fully auto and the foregrip because this gun is pretty much, it's, it pretty, it's pretty recoily. So the foregrip does help me get my aim back on point. But if you don't want to use it and you want to use the three burst, you can again switch between muzzle brake and the red dot. Like if I'm using, um, actually specifically if I'm using the burst fire, I will go ahead and put on, how do I take this thing off? Press this. I will go ahead and put on the ACOG sight and the muzzle brake. That's what I'll use if I'm just using the three burst attachment or the, st the built in three burst shot. But if not, I'm using the foregrip and the fully auto because that's why I like to use a lot perks using ready up stalker I do like to aim down sights with this especially if I'm going with the burst fire um it just helps me get my shots on target and lets me be a little more mobile with my assault rifle and then again scavenger ICU focus explained why I use those in the beginning and this class right here is kind of my classic call of duty class where you have your perks and both grenades AK-12 foregrip and silencer I do like to switch out. I put the red dot on sometimes. Don't have unlocked on this again. And if I'm not going silencer, I'm going uh, muzzle brake for sure. And that's I think that's all I use on this site. You know, sometimes I use the VMR. I use that in the beginning of the game, but not as much anymore. Got the grenade, grenade or the C4. I will be using. And then the tactical, the concussion. The perks we have are ready up, sleight of hand, to reload faster, on the go to reload while sprinting, make me even more mobile quick draw to get that aim on point and then the focus perk to beat the crap out of some people now on to my other soldier these classes i all have uh, specialist perks on it specialist kill streaks so the mr28 freaking amazing a marksman rifle um my merchman class we got the, the foregrip built in so your recoil isn't as much as the what's this other weapon the ia2 these weapons are pretty much um identical I2 has slightly more damage, but it does have more recoil because there's no foregrip built into it. So, MR28, I like to use the muzzle brake and the extended mags, max out your ammo and shots. But if you don't want, if you don't like the like scoping built in and you want to use a sight, you can put on the red dot sight instead of using the extended mags and use red dot sight and muzzle brake or any of these sights up above. I recommend the muzzle brake for this for sure though. Then we have the p226 pistols and i use you and either go dual wield or the muzzle brake sometimes silencer and the reason for this is because when i'm using the scope it is a pretty it's more of a long distance gun it's not a short distance so if there are enemies nearby gotta whip up my pistols kill them with that pretty logic right there we got the c4 on the class and then perks we got ready up reflex so if i am in a tight situation and it's close quarters and i can't kill them with the mr28 Switch the pistols real easily. Steady aim again helps out the pistol accuracy. And if I do need to hit fire with the MR28, easier to kill people with that. We've got focus on and we have hard line on for my specialist streak. The bonus perks we got in order, sleight of hand, then amplify, and then scavenger so I don't run out of ammo. And the bonus at 11 kills instead of 12 because we have hard line on. We got, I don't even know, we got a quick draw wiretap, which is awesome, especially if you're playing like ground war or something. Satcoms everywhere wiretap allows you to tap into the enemy satcom So say you te your team has like two satcoms the other team has two satcoms on your minimap You have four satcoms. So you got like that blackbird effect and then I see you as well <clears throat> And the second to last class we have the turned up my cranked class. That is my number two go to again red dot and silence around my mtar Perks we have ready up marathon again cranked. I like to run a lot even though it's speed perk and you do get speed boost in crank I like to run trust me uh dead silence and amplify again sit rep so i don't run into ieds and focus and then the strike package we have quick draw icu scavenger 
And then the bonus, we're getting Stalker, Steady Aim, Ready Up, and Ping, because Ping, if you don't, if you try Ping out, Ping's awesome, let me just tell you that. And then the last class we have here is the K7. This is more of a stealthy class if I am getting like satcoms everywhere or whatever. Um, K7 is a pretty nice gun. My friend told me to use it, and I've been using it ever since like first week of the game. We have the foregrip and the red dot sight on it, and you do have an integrated silencer. So you basically have three attachments. Then the perks we have is ready up, marathon, focused, and fully loaded. I'll explain before, but this is more of a stealth class, like I said. So we have takedown with that silencer, so they can't tell where the enemies are dying or your teammates are dying or they're, you know, you get what I'm saying. And then off the grid, so I am off the satcom and the minimap for the enemies. And then for the specialist bonus, we have the sleight of hand, amplify, quick draw. And then the bonus, we have steady aim, dead silence to be a little more stealthy, sit rep, and ping because, like I said, ping is awesome. And those are my pretty much go-to classes as of right now. I'm only fourth or third and a half prestige right now. Um, I'm telling and I'm going really slow in this game. In MW3, I was 10th prestige in like two weeks, I think it was. Black Ops 2 was maybe a month or something, month or two, something like that. So I am behind in this game, but uh, I'll, I'll get to the top prestige soon. Hopefully these classes will help you better up your game. You can try them out, see if they're awesome, see if they work for you. And if you guys have any other awesome classes you'd like to share with me and the rest of the people watching this video, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. I'll be sure to test them out and see if I like them. And as always, guys, I'm Cinder Skater. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.